your chances of being able to buy that new graphics card, CPU, or console may have just drastically improved. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Wondershare and their Uniconverter One-Stop Video Converter. Uniconverter is a great tool that allows you to convert videos in their original quality fast with GPU acceleration, which means less time waiting around. Edit videos in their easy-to-use video editor. Record videos with its built-in high-quality screen recorder that gives you multiple options for recording. And compress your videos to the right size and quality for sharing your clips online. And best of all, you can try it out for free. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to find out more. So a whole bunch of information just came out that points towards the supply of all AMD products being potentially significantly improved. Now, of course, this includes not only their Radeon graphics, but also their Ryzen processors and potentially even the consoles. Now, the first piece of information I want to talk about has come from the Twitter user NerdTech, where he posted, quote, news from Taiwan. Recent Apple shifts to next node has freed up some more 5 and 7N capacity. Bidding was fierce for Q2 allocation with MediaTek and AMD big winners. Crypto ASIC makers got a small amount of wafers too. They wanted more and were willing to pay, but TSMC prioritizes partners. So yeah, this is definitely good news, and I'm glad to see that TSMC is prioritizing their partners such as AMD, because it would definitely be sad if they decided to go ahead and give most of their 5 and 7 nanometer capacity to miners, so uh, glad to see that, but you know, not only are they prioritizing their partners such as AMD, but with AMD supposedly getting big wins with these TSMC 5 and 7 nanometer capacities, that, you know, that not only means that their current 7 nanometer stuff, which includes everything from the Ryzen processors to the Radeon graphics to the consoles as well, which are all produced on that 7 nanometer node. Uh, but on top of that, with them getting big wins with the potential 5 nanometer wafers as well, that means that their next generation products should potentially get, you know, at least somewhat decent amount of supply. And hopefully by that time, uh, the amount of demand has gone down a little bit as well. So hopefully, you know, the next generation products are a little bit easier to get. But, you know, let's go ahead and focus on the current gen stuff, because like I mentioned, with the big wins in 7 nanometer wafers, that means that AMD, you know, pretty soon here could be seeing a significant increase in the amount of supply that's available. Now, of course, this isn't going to be instantaneous. You're not going to suddenly tomorrow be able to go on new egg and see just, you know, a waterfall of RX 6800 XTs and the 6700 XT every, you know, a 6700 XT for you, one for you, one for everyone. Yeah, that's not uh, necessarily going to happen. But hopefully within quarter two or quarter three of this year, you should see a significant increase in the amount of supply available for all AMD products, which is definitely good to see. And, you know, if you take a look at, say, the uh, R7 5800X, you can basically Basically buy that whenever you want. I've been checking, you know, uh, every couple of days here, and it seems like the 5800X is pretty much always in stock now. So yeah, that's definitely good to see there. Uh, the 5600X as well uh, does seem to come in stock pretty frequently. So they have made some progress on that front, which means that you know realistically they only need to get their supply uh, figured out for the uh, 5900X, the 5950X, all their Radeon products as well as for their consoles. So yeah, there's definitely a lot more work that needs to be done there. But it does look like things are starting to improve, which is definitely good. And you know, on top of this, I. I have mentioned this before, but NVIDIA has made some deals or at least allegedly made some deals with Samsung in the past to, you know, increase their supply as well. So NVIDIA should potentially uh, sometime in the future here, hopefully within the next, you know, two to four months, uh, be able to increase their supply as well. You know, with everyone going back to work, I mentioned this as well. Uh, there should be less demand happening. So, you know, I do think that within the next two to three months here, uh, you should at least have a little bit better of a chance to get some sort of product that you want, whether it be a new console, a Radeon graphics card, or maybe even an NVIDIA card. Hopefully you do end up having an easier time getting a hold of one of those products that you are looking for now it's not going to be easy of course things are always going to be a little bit constrained throughout the rest of this year and potentially even into next generation you could see you know a little bit more demand than they can supply for a little bit here but it looks like you know things are starting to look up and to get into a little bit more detail taking a look at the rx 6700 xt according to red gaming tech this should have much higher availability than the 6800 xt now in his video that he put out just the other day he said that he had heard that the 6800 xt had only gotten somewhere between say uh, 250 to 500 units for all of the UK I believe which is yeah that's incredibly low and honestly that's a little bit shocking I knew that it was really really low for the 6800 XT but you know 250 to 500 units for all of the UK you know if I heard that right that's really bizarre I mean that's definitely nowhere near enough to get anyone what they need so yeah that was definitely not good so uh, apparently AMD has promised a substantial increase in the amount of GPUs available and according to Red Gaming Tech uh, he is expecting to see somewhere between 
1 to 2,000 units uh, dropped every single month for the 6700 XT. So yeah, that's a huge improvement. In fact, that's anywhere from two to eight times more products than the 6800 XT that was available supposedly in the UK. Uh, now we don't know the whole story. We don't know if he's only getting that from say a couple of retailers. We don't know uh, where this information is coming from. And obviously he's not going to tell you because he doesn't want to give up his sources. But you know, if that is the case, even in a best case scenario, if it has eight times more supply than the 6800 XT, that's still, you know, realistically not going to be enough. I mean, they would have to produce like a hundred times more to have it be enough. Because again, if you're taking a look at say 250 units for all the UK, uh, yeah, eight times more than that is not very impressive. So yeah, that's not very good. 2000 units is still, you know, shockingly low. Uh, so yeah, your chances of being able to get one of these cards is definitely going to be higher. And if you do want to try and get one of these GPUs, my advice would be, you know, on launch day, go to AMD.com and whenever they do restocks, be on AMD.com because that's going to be basically your only shot to get one of these cards at MSRP. It's still going to be incredibly difficult because obviously uh, there's not going to be enough supply. There's going to be a huge amount of demand. So, but you know, either way, if you're going to try and get one, I would not be trying to get an AIB model uh, because from what I've heard, they're going to be extremely expensive. I mean, I've heard anywhere between the ballpark of like uh, $550 upwards of $650. And honestly, it could be even higher than that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw, say, 6700 XT going for like $800 on Newegg or something like that by a third party seller. So yeah, I'd definitely be trying to get the reference model from AMD if you're going to be trying to do that. But yeah, it's going to be really hard. There's just simply not going to be enough supply. Yeah, eight times more, even if that is the case. Yeah, that's really great to see that they're getting a lot more supply. But realistically, their supply of 6800 XTs was absolutely miserable. I know I did a poll a little while ago where I got, you know, over 21,000 responses. And of those responses, you know, only 5% of people were able to get an AMD card and 28% in NVIDIA card, which, you know, yeah, typically NVIDIA does sell a whole lot more cards. But right now, basically, everyone's buying whatever they can find. So that's definitely a really bad number for AMD. And so hopefully this does allow you to get your hands on a 6700 XT or a 6800 XT or maybe even an NVIDIA card or console somewhat more easily in the future. But hey, it's still going to be difficult and it is going to take a little bit of time for this stuff to go into effect because, you know, just because AMD was able to secure more 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer wafers from TSMC, that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen tomorrow. So yeah, things are going to get a little bit better, but it is going to take just a little bit more time. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that things are going to get better or do you think that things are going to get even worse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.